Yeah, three things I really took away from this trip was A, more on the big picture side, this real focus on sustainability, how that feeds through to uh, commodity prices, production, steel production. That's obviously got a big impact on commodity prices, steel spreads, etc. The second issue is the rise of the consumer in China, the middle class. You've still got very good wage growth relative to the rest of the, uh, the world. And we've seen that, you know, with regard to tourism numbers coming into Australia, you know, that's an area where you feel we've still got to capitalise. You see it in the education sector. And there's not many areas where we can capitalise that from a, uh, a portfolio point of view. Um, the one area is, you know, some of the consumer goods that are supplied into China. Um, we mentioned uh, infant formula, that's a big one, gets a lot of discussion. Blackmores on the vitamin front. And we've seen China be very proactive. Uh, GNC, the big American company, you know, China's bought 40% of GNC. Um, you know, we've seen Swiss, which is a big brand in Australia that was bought out by the Chinese. So these strong demand and growing demand, uh, you've just got to be cautious about how these companies go about it and that they don't take too many steps ahead without having the right marketing and structures in place. And then possibly the third element, which is arguably the most exciting, is just how China's actually embracing um, the new economy, um, for sake of a very all-embracing word. Um, what they're doing on the EV side, what they're doing on the technology side. You know, you talk to some companies, robotics. You know, I hadn't appreciated this until this trip, but uh, a Chinese company actually bought one of the largest robotic firms in Germany. And they are incredibly open about what their strategy is. They said, we've been putting a lot of capital into Germany, and now it's time to bring all of that IP back to China. And despite the fact that China's got this big population and they've all had this big, very big manufacturing base and they've brought the cost of goods down, they are very focused on automation now and robotics, um, you know, right throughout, not just on the factory floor, but right throughout industry and how it's going to impact uh, our lives. It's fascinating. It's, it's the first time I've seen it. I was in Shanghai and I walked into an elevator and I was accompanied by this delivery robot. It's like a little thing out of Star Wars. It's, it's a, and goes around the office and delivers things to, to the staff. And it's unbelievable. You know, we see it here in Sydney, um, all the delivery bikes, food, um, Uber Eats, etc. It's everywhere in China. So there's, you can really see that whole service-orientated uh, you know, economy really starting to take, take foot.